Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Michigan's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. And you know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Barry's the guy everyone has their eyes on right now, Kirk, and he comes with a lot of expectations. Time will only tell if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Got him behind the line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From their own 15-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 16. middle got his back he's out to the 30 out of bounds at the 31 good gain on the pass to the running back this young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game he does a great job of making guys miss after the catch from their own 31 yard line First down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. down again. Goes over the middle, intercepted. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. the 26 yard line it's first down he passes it they can't connect incomplete it's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach but where your guy can still come down with it inbounds it takes a lot more precision than it looks and it's 
It's almost picked off. McCarthy's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down, down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Brought down around the 21-yard line. They complete the slant. Good for 10. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's Quincy Uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's check in on the high-powered Pac-12. The Buffaloes make Ralphie happy with the win, 31-13. In other games, the Tigers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Polsters move them down? And for San Jose State, They've won two straight. San Jose State gets the win by four. Reese, 3-0 here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Michigan's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And he's tackled at about the 35. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Lost the pass. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Bring him down at the 36. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Heading for the corner. He's taken down at the 33. We're about set to start things up again. Michigan is up a field goal. Wide open, and he just drops it. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Makes the catch, and look out. And he tackles him hard at the 38. Morris gains about five yards on the play. That'll make it 35. Third down and five to go. Ball on the 38. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Certainly they don't have the return on here.
Tackle made at the 28. The Wolverines are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He goes downtown. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. That'll bring up 34. And down he goes, around the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 43-yard line, first down. level at the 35 yard line you know that time i think he saw the pressure was coming he tried to make a play as a quarterback and i can understand that but eventually you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack that is a minus for the quarterback so the sack makes this a second and long under pressure they bring him down a defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Gives it off, and they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Hill is the putter. And he just got stood up right there. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Michigan is up by three. Looks left, intercepted. He's at the 40. Tackle right around the 34. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it 76. Laterals back, and he is drilled at the 30. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. to the end zone. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Wisconsin is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and he splits the young ones. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Horned Frogs came into the game ranked seven. They're now bungee jumping and the cord's gonna break. You could almost sense during the week that this team was right to be upset. They showed up, not ready to play, and down they go. The Jayhawks take it by one.
Wow. You can feel the shock wave caused by that upset all the way to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 29. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. That's a great tackle at the 37. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. We've played one, and this one's knotted up at three. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. tipped away. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. He's going to air it long. He's under pressure, and he's sacked. It's a big-time effort sacked by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's tackled at the 35. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Good outside run there. McNamara gets about four yards on the option keeper. That makes it second and six. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. That'll bring up third and two. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Start. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought down at the 50-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 to the 20. And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. Yeah. 
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. And he hits him hard at the 19. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Wisconsin is looking to go up by three. They try to get a head start there. False start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still fourth down. Fourth down and a ways to go after the penalty. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 6-3, Wisconsin. They line up to kick this one away. Dixon from the four. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Morris was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. A ball on the 27-yard line. He fights forward to about the 29. Edwards comes away with two yards on the carry. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Caldwell is waiting for the snap. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Going long. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 38. Wisconsin holds a field goal lead. And he's taken down at the 40. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That brings us to open seven. Hill awaits the snap. Dixon fields it at the 22. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. McCarthy's play is not what we expected from him. We've seen him play a lot better than this, and I don't know if it's pressure or what, Herbie, but he's not on his normal game right now. It really makes you wonder because you're right. We're used to seeing him play at a much higher level, and I don't know if it's the pressure uh, or, or how he feels right now about his own game, but at halftime, they've got to be able to somehow get him going because 
If they're going to be able to be competitive, they've got to have their go-to guy really playing to the best of his abilities. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. They'll bring him down at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Caught over the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 50. Fights forward to about the 49. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 49 yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. He's under pressure. He steps up. He's taken down around the 36 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They push him out right around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Inside the 10. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and it puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, play. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he converts the extra point. A nice 10-play, 72-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 10-6. Tackle made at the 26. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses, they just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Got it. And he goes down quickly. 
And that was a really well-played series by the defense. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. Hill is the punter. Dixon fields it at the 26. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Wolverines over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's, again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Michigan holds a four-point lead. First down grab. They connect again. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. the 29-yard line. Tackle around the 20-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. Picked off by the senior. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. Little handoff. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. It's third and 11. Ball on their own 19. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-6, Michigan. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in year out and, and that's what we're seeing today that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on yeah i'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors we'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now time for the second half with brad and Curtis. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. So they're just about set to get the game going again. 
Michigan is up by four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. He's out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Tackled for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. We've got third and 12. Ball on their own 34. Three down, three down. Mike 55, Mike 55. And he's going to come up with a sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Caldwell to punt. Brought down at the 39. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. From the 25-yard line, first down. Michigan is up four. Taken down in the backfield. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Looking for the corner. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown! Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short three-play, 25-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. 
And he's tackled at the 25. The Wolverines continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They get it out there on the toss. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Fires incomplete. Happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23. get away from the pressure. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Hill is waiting for the snap. Fields at the 46. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Wants to throw outside. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From the 21 yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 20. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. it out to maybe the 19-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That'll bring up third and eight. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 19-yard line. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. He's looking for six. This one will fall incomplete. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. No good. He pushed it to the right. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. the middle for a nice game. Allen gains about five yards on the run. 
That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 41. Counter right side. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 50. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires it out. Brought down at the 45. Trying to change the field position with his kick. McCarthy's game so far, what we expected. He's a star. He's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to take a game over. And, you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today, but it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He always seems to be able to be in command of this offense. And uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He'll get it again. He's taken down right around the 20. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 31. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. And a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. Jones picks up six yards with that grab. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. Zips it right. And got him! To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Michigan! Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Man left, man left. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And this is the eighth play of the drive. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Steps out of bounds at the 29-yard line. First 
It's the ninth play of the drive. They'll work the left side with a counter play. Two yard loss for the halfback. Two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 31 yard line. So at the end of three, Michigan leads it 17-6. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nice run up the middle. That's, That's good for a game, game of four, four yards. yards. Third, Third down. down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Watch nine. Go. Go. Motion, motion, motion. Go. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Huskies come into today's game ranked 25th, and hoping a win will move them up in the rankings. The Huskies snag a pick six and strike first. The Huskies are on top, 7-0. Our score, 20-6 here. Michigan to kick. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Hand him out, hand him out. Still first down. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Pressure coming. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. 41's coming, 41's the mic. You can go get this one. You can go get this. 980. Looks middle, got his back. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. At the 32. Of 13 yards. First, First and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown. Huge play. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. The coverage just couldn't keep up with it there. Uh, 
He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Michigan is up a score. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. That brings up third and ten. Man left, man left. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Check nine, check nine. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That'll make it fourth and ten. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Brought down at the 42. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Needed that play, and he dropped it. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 29. Johnson's on the touchdown with the 29-yard line. First down. From the 29-yard line, first down. Ready, green 19. And he stopped behind the line. Hit before he can go anywhere. Number 41 on the tackle at the 21 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he's hit immediately. Gutsy job here by the offense to reach the sticks. They only needed a couple yards, and the defense was geared up for the stop. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 12-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Here's the eighth play of the series. Knocked away, incomplete. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's going to be short. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. 
You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And they get nice yardage on that run. Edwards gets about four yards on the play. That makes it seven and six. From their own 14-yard line, it's second down. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it 39. From their own 11 yard line, it's third down. Fetches all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That brings us fourth and 11. Caldwell is the punter. away and it's a booming punt and he shoved out of bounds around the 43 yard line both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game just under two to go in the game fires out to his wideout they'll bring him down right around the 36 yard line Number 26 brings him down at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right away. That's a great tackle at the 27 yard line. That brings him second and five. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He's got it! And a huge touchdown play. Late in the fourth quarter, the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's a tie ball game, 2020. Hill has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Dixon fields at the goal line. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. You've got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. These seconds should be pretty thrilling. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's gobbled up in the backfield. down and he's out of bounds so it looks like four quarters wasn't enough we're heading to overtime well we played an hour and it's still not enough we're set to kick off here in overtime the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Hands it to the back. He fights forward to about the 16. down there on the four-yard pickup from the back. Draw plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. And he is drilled at the 11. That makes it second and eight. From the 11-yard line, second down. It's on a move. Touchdown. Well, that's how you want to start off an overtime period to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bulldogs arrive at today's game ranked fifth in the nation. And for Georgia, they remain red hot. Georgia grabs the victory by a field goal. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 27-20. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. the ball for a nice game. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will win. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure.
Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 19. And they'll run him again. Right down. Right around the 16-yard line. That makes this only 15. He's under pressure, and he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And they got him. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Michigan 27, Wisconsin 20. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.